Hello Cancer, how are you all doing? Happy birthday season to all of the Cancers out there. This is your season, this is your time to shine. This is your Celtic Cross for July 2021. Let's hope something lovely and wonderful and positive as I throw all my cards all over the place comes through for the Cancerian Collective today. This is a monthly spread for Cancer sun moon and rising for july 2021 and today cancer just about anything may come through for you this could be all about you on an internal level there might be a situation that you're involved with in july there might be some people involved that are going to pop in and say hello we're going to let the cards guide us today and take it from there cross watchers you are most welcome here it is of course a wonderful thing that you are caring enough about a cancer that you want to check in on them in this way please do note however that this is a reading for cancer the energy will be from the perspective of cancer even if your perspective of the same situation is somewhat different and as a reader my empathy will lie with cancer here today okay guys birthday season let's see what we have for you all main energy overall energy for july is nice temperance sagittarius energy coming through for you healing patience balance being gentle with yourself filling your own cup and finding peace becoming stronger maybe the energy of kind of <laughs> testing the waters on something a little bit we shall see crossing you is the two of cups okay i'm not too worried about that crossing you right now because the two of cups of course is a minor arcana it's it's a two it doesn't really hold a candle to a card like temperance feels very internal feels though you're possibly rejecting a connection with somebody else or not like not in a really dramatic fashion just i think you just need you want a little bit of you time right now you want to focus in on you perhaps you're a little bit quieter than usual um maybe there is somebody around you that's shown a passing interest and actually you've decided not right now um need to focus in on me for this present moment in time we'll see we'll get some clarification out what lies at the root of this situation is the tower okay i do feel you're going deep within i think there has been something that's happened recently that was potentially kind of shocking sudden come through there for you i do think you're in good energy though so again clarifiers will help us with this recent past eight of coins there's you on the grind working hard focusing in again on i'm hearing um like daily routine like the mundane stuff putting food on the table kind of just just trucking on like day-to-day -day stuff and i feel externally you seem to have got all your shit together here so you feeling like this would actually be a really good opportunity for me right now to kind of go inward and do a little bit of excavating feels very internal this energy right now there could have been some kind of catalytic thing that pushed you into this i feel like i'm what i'm getting most from this temperance card right now is this kind of this energy of moving from the physical world into this higher state of existence perhaps you're meditating a lot you don't kind of seem to be <laughs> on the planet right now you seem to be somewhere higher somewhere else right now maybe you're doing some soul searching maybe you are meditating a lot maybe you are kind of awakening to something maybe you're on some kind of spiritual journey and you're on the precipice of like a a big breakthrough or a leveling up in some way what's on your mind cancer 
the knave of coins yeah you've got one eye on the real world here which is nice that means you're not quite entirely away with the fairies um there is still you know the day-to-day -day stuff to attend to it's small but you're not letting that slide i think you are just doing an awesome juggling act right now i think you've got several plates spinning here and i think for the most part you're really on top of this i like this a lot coming in for you is the seven of swords okay that can be kind of problematic that's that's a tough card um that's a challenging energy for sure again clarification we'll see where where that takes us advice and guidance is the two of wands beautiful fabulous you are in control here cancer you really are in control right now you've just kind of you're firing on all cylinders and it's just you're on top of things here despite the fact there is something here that could have potentially been exceptionally overwhelming what do you need to know ten of wands okay 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 yeah being on top of things to this extent is a wonderful thing but something will have to give eventually um you cannot possibly sustain this level of productivity in literally every single area of your life indefinitely i would say you know keep riding while you're riding high here but i think what you need to know is that you will reach your limit with this you can't just keep going winning at everything indefinitely all of the time it's sort of something does have to give at some point hopes and fears high priestess beautiful not one of your cards um directly but it's a card of the moon and that is your ruling not planet astrological body so by proxy the high priestess is of cancer so that's nice i feel you that's your you know your energy is sitting in your hopes and fears i think you are very aware of the potential pitfalls and being very true to yourself right now and i think part of that does involve some pulling back and i don't think you're apologizing for it i think you may have set some boundaries with some people here and in terms of saying I, I need some space i need some time or sorry i've been very very busy thank you for being kind of cool about that and it is that's how it has to be right now your overall outcome for july is the five of wands which does certainly tap into what's going on here a little bit as well that i do see the potential for conflict around you but i see you kind of not letting it impact you at all this is like you might have somebody on the sidelines having a little bit of a whinge a little bit of a moan and you're like that's great but i have to do this and i have to do this this way and i'm not going to apologize for it because this is this is important for myself right now i do see you sort of rejecting somebody here but not like really like badly maybe there's somebody here you're not being a hundred percent present for purely because right now you're dedicated to being 100 percent present for yourself and can you see why there was that little disclaimer i gave you all about cross watching at the very beginning now imagine you're the cross watcher here and you feel like cancer's ignoring you and not being present for you and and uh being really selfish and and focusing only on themselves it's a question of perception isn't it i think for where you need to be right now cancer this is excellent energy for you but i can see why, why a cross watcher might be a little bit resentful and might just not see it in exactly the same way whereas i would say this is healthy selfishness the cross watcher might say no nope, this is just straight up selfishness so this is why if you are cross watching just make sure you're coming in in the correct energy and recognizing that this is the way cancer feels and this is what cancer needs right now because this reading is for cancer underneath the deck is the ace of swords there we will keep an eye on that that's what you don't know there is some kind of information coming through there for you um some kind of new idea or new understanding or a breakthrough on the cards for you uh i think that's kind of what you're working towards it feels like you are 
on the precipice of some kind of enlightenment almost in whether that be very physical literal tangible terms or on a more spiritual plane for you temperance is such good energy especially to have in your central energy here right now jupiter is playing its tricks having some few shenanigans going on planetarily this is a card of jupiter um it's quite auspicious it's lucky it's big it's magnifying you're doing something here cancer for you and it's a big deal and it's important and you have to do it there might be somebody dancing around on the sidelines here trying to make you feel guilty that you're focusing in on yourself in this way but i think whatever's happening here is too important for you to let that stop you to go along with the seven uh, the temperance is the seven of wands beautiful there we go self-protection having to potentially defend your right to be in this energy and resisting and blocking anybody that cannot allow you the space to be in this energy right now the seven of wands mars and leo is always a card of having the moral high ground like feeling like your purpose is worth this potential conflict crossing you and i said this is you perhaps just just not right now that as i said there might be a little rejection there might you might be in a partnership with somebody here right now you're not 100 percent present for the connection with this person I think a bit of communication would go a long way trying to get this person to understand why you need to sit in this energy right now um the issue of course is is you explaining yourself very carefully is in no way a guarantee that this person will understand why or what it is you're doing so it, it is it's here it's here and it's here um it feels kind of peripheral because we've got some very strong major arcana major arcana major arcana here for kind of what it is you need to do so this person being a bit put out right now for you cancer is not as important as what it is you need to do here for yourself you have the star card very very strong yeah i do think you are ultimately hopeful that this person can understand why it is you're doing this why it is you need a moment to to breathe why it is you need to pull back a little bit i think what you are hoping from this person or this group of people however it manifests for you i think what you're hoping for is is a little bit of patience a little bit of understanding and above all else a little bit of breathing room something may have gone down there may have been a reason why you've kind of been propelled into this very internal self-reflective energy some kind of catalytic event i think you need some space i think you need to breathe here after some chaos the eight of swords I'm hearing the song I want to break free by Queen here this is almost like you have forcibly pulled yourself out of some kind of rut or some kind of inner conflict here you have had a major breakthrough that was perhaps kind of destructive or chaotic in some way um not all storms destroy your life some clear a path it feels as though you were trapped in some way like this lady here all bound and tied with the blindfold on it feels like you were trapped and you freed yourself but the ensuing chaos that was involved in breaking free has had a residual impact on your external there's definitely been a shake-up here but it's kind of been a good thing or it's been revealing you know this blindfold has been 
taken off. But it hasn't been gently taken off. It's been ripped off. But whoa, you see now. Does, does, does any of that make sense? <laughs> Usually the readings that I are the most, I am the most confused about are the ones that seem to resonate with you guys. I did one for Virgo this time around and I had no idea. Absolutely no idea what was going on. And I've had many people comment and go, believe it or not, this really resonated for me. I'm like, really? <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. And I'm sort of getting a bit confused here as well. Recent past here, nose to the grind, getting work done here. Along with the Queen of Swords, very, very logical, very practical. Um, kind of, this is like, as a combination, this is like having a schedule and sticking to it religiously. Um... I would say the frustration in your person here surrounds the fact that here you seem very focused on something grounded and real and tangible, like your job, for example, or a course of study, like very focused in on that. And now you've had the opportunity to pull away from that and have a, a bit of space and time from that. Now you're very focused in on yourself. And this person's kind of like, what about me? Basically, I just feel for whatever reason right now cancer whatever it is you're doing here is is very necessary for you like i said you do have one eye on the real world you are attending you are still working you're still earning money you're still working on your abundance you're still paying the bills feeding the kids whatever it is you need to do here you're, you're not completely my mother used to always say i was away with the fairies she, she said that a lot actually when i was younger you're not completely away with the fairies justice yeah you're doing what's fair and right okay you might not necessarily be the most emotionally present right now but you're you're taking care of like what your responsibilities are um people have different love languages uh, what i'm getting coming through here is like you know if you go and purchase all of the groceries and then cook a beautiful meal and present that to your family, but then you don't necessarily have all that much time to sit with your family and converse or express anything deep or emotional with them, but you, you've kind of, you've shown them as much love as you're able to right now by attending to their very grounded practical needs. Like I said, feeding the kids kind of thing. Um, might not necessarily be children, but you're not absent from this situation here. You just need some breathing room. It, it's actually really quite simple. And you are, you, you're still doing what's expected of you. you. You're not, you haven't just abandoned ship here at all. You need some space for you. You need to. You need some room to breathe and to contemplate and reflect on whatever it is has gone on here. And and possibly with all of this hard work in the past here, maybe you just need a little bit of R and R because you're knackered because you've been working so hard. This unfortunately is somewhat manipulative and deceptive energy coming in for you here. You might have somebody here that is seeing you from the outside not necessarily fully understanding where you're coming from in this moment and what they see is you essentially pulling away and through fear of that distance may behave in ways that are not necessarily the healthiest by way of essentially trying to get your attention i would i would say queen of pentacles this could be a mother figure um i think what they really want to say is being repressed and it, so this could be somebody being uh, like passive aggressive um you know uh, what's up with your face nothing i'm fine you know if anybody ever says i'm fine in that tone they're definitely not fine um you might feel as though somebody is not speaking up, but is quietly resenting you. 
That seems to be the energy. And it is external energy coming in for you here. What do we do about it? Advice and guidance. Two of Wands, Mars and Aries. Planning for the future. Assessing your dominion. And figuring out what's next for you. Making a tangible plan to move forward and making a choice about which direction you would like to move forward in. Clarified by the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's, okay, this isn't a choice because you don't want to go to the Ten of Swords. So the, the only option is to move away from this. Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. I mean, you can see it's a tough card. You can see that's... Uh, not a picnic in the park for sure advice and guidance is to focus in on what it is you got to do here this was potentially rather challenging it's, it's like you've got you've got to do this cancer you've got to do this for you for your healing so you can breathe for your mental health for your stability you're doing all the logistical stuff. And right now, that's all you have the energy to do. What you are giving is as much as you can give right now. And as I said, ultimately, your hope would be that whomever it is that's surrounding you here would be compassionate, understanding. I don't necessarily think they are, but do know I think it's coming from a place of fear because they feel you pulling away, you, they feel you detaching. I don't really think what you're doing here, Cancer, really has all that much to do with them. But I think they are taking it rather personally. And as I said, you explaining yourself is by no way a guarantee that they will understand you. I mean, it's at least you tried, I guess. But what you need to know is the Ten of Wands. Um... Those, you know, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Something's got to give here. There's something here that is really not helping. Is it this person? They kind of feel on the... They feel on the periphery because that's where you seem to have put them. And that's why they're possibly scared. Because they know it. They feel that energetically too. What's going on here? Seven of Pentacles. You're biding your time. Okay. You're, you're, you're procrastinating. You're procrastinating. And you are rapidly reaching your limit, Cancer. This is a warning. That if you procrastinate too long, you will unfortunately hit breaking point. It might be wise to make a decision before it gets to that point. But if you don't, it's going to get to that point anyway. So either you take action on something... Or like essentially the universe is going to step in and action will occur either way. So that's kind of on you. Not entirely sure how that fits or how that might be resonating for you. But that there's, there is a warning there for sure. Um, you are sitting in your power. You are sitting in your energy right now. I think you know that you need to focus in on yourself here. Try not to let yourself be guilt tripped. As I said earlier on, the difference between the healthy selfishness that I'm seeing here and somebody else's perception of you just being selfish is in the eye of the beholder here. I don't see how you cannot do this work on yourself right now. I think it's necessary and I think it's important and I think it's really not helping that you're potentially being guilt tripped or shamed while you're trying to work through this. Again, all you can do is communicate your needs and ask for some space.
I'm not sure if this person is giving you space, but is resenting or resentful of the fact that that's happening. Or if you have asked for space or expressed your desire for space and this person is pushing that boundary. I can't tell which way it is. So again, that might be one way for some of you and, and, and the other way for, another, for others of you. Ultimate outcome here is this, this person again, kind of attention seeking, essentially um, craving admiration, being kind of jealous and maybe causing a little bit of drama or conflict. This is somebody acting rather childishly. What's going on with this? Page of Swords. Yeah, and there's another very young, childlike, immature kind of energy coming through there. Um, blunt, immature communication. I think somebody around you really does not understand what you're going through and why you need to, to do this. And I don't think there's all that much for you to do about that, really, because, as I said, I feel like whatever you're working through here is 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 necessary. It's just such a shame. That there's somebody here that, for whatever reason, is finding it very hard to understand why. Of course, nearly always comes from fear, that kind of behavior. And of course, you having understanding and compassion for them and and how difficult this must be for for them for some of you you might be like basically dumping somebody here and you want to be kind you don't want to hurt somebody but you you kind of have to hurt them a bit because you've made that choice and perhaps they are struggling to accept that what you don't know is the Ace of Swords. What's the breakthrough? What's the revelation? It's the Empress. Ooh! Wow, look at this card. Gorgeous. There's a breakthrough regarding either somebody in your life here that embodies this Empress energy. In which case, who is this person, Cancer? Or... This is you knowing that this is the path that you have to journey along to connect with your inner divine feminine, whether you're male or female. That means tapping into your intuition over here, like this high priestess would suggest you are doing. This means being present, being composed, being sincere to yourself. It's queenly feminine energy. This is taking care of yourself and of others, which you are doing. You are. This is getting yourself into a mentally, spiritually and emotionally stable place. Empress is always fantastic energy. So I'm so delighted to see that we finished up with that energy. Uh, Libra had Empress energy strongly throughout their reading so if the, you know if you resonate with libra in any way shape or form might be something there for you in the libra read there libra is the empress is a card of libra as well so it especially resonates you also have i've just noticed libra at the top here on your mind um libra energy there so again that's just another indication who else do we have here libra's here as well virgo aries aries taurus uh Sagittarius there's a few other signs here Aquarius is here um good luck with this one Cancer enjoy your birthday season I have been reminding some of the other signs that I do have a Patreon if you want to support me there is additional um exclusive Patreon only content and readings over on there that will be instantly accessible to you for the price of a coffee if you want to support me and join our little community over there I'd love to have you Enjoy your birthday season. Good luck. I will be back with a relationship reading very, very soon. Do keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed.